Hey, Chef Ro here. Today I'm going to talk to you about apples. Right now in my world it's fall. It doesn't feel like it outside because I live in Southern California. It never feels like fall. Um, still, it's apple season. So, I'm going to show you the best way to core and slice an apple, generally for cooking. You can see here that I've already peeled my apple. Now I tend to peel around this way and get in one big long strip, but if you want to go this way, that's fine. I find it slightly easier uh, to go that way and you will go a little bit faster, but it's up to you. Now, a lot of people have those apple wedgers and that's perfectly fine if that is the final size you're looking for. If you're gonna try and slice it, using those apple quarters and wedgers, actually makes it harder for you because now you have to slice like eight things instead of four, okay? Uh, some people use the apple corer that just pops straight down in the center. That is also fine, um, but those things some people struggle with. Uh, they've made some that are spring-loaded so that the core comes back out easier, but it's still kind of a struggle for some people. So I'm going to show you a way you don't need any tools and you can do it with just your knife. So basically after I've uh, peeled my apple, all you're going to do is cut on each side of the apple right around the core. And now, if you've ever seen any of my videos on knife skills, you've probably heard me talking about flat sides, and look, I have flat sides on all of them. So now I can just cut them into whatever size slices I want quite easily. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is once you have them cut, you want to get them into a bowl of acidulated water as soon as possible, which is really just a fancy word for with a little bit of lemon juice. Uh, that'll help prevent the oxidization that is going to turn them brown. Now you know the quick and easy way to core and slice an apple. I hope you are able to use it this fall.